closing in on first pitch this evening from Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Tonight, the first of this quick two-game series between the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. Yankee baseball starts now. Now batting, second baseman, Jose Altuve. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Altuve. He drew a walk his first time up. Liner toward right center. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mets. Boy, that was a heck of an at-bat. Worked the count full. The Pitcher baseman, thought for sure he'd be looking 24. fastball. He got a breaking Miguel ball, stayed Cabrera. with it, and got the base hit. That's about as good as it's going to get right there. In now, Miguel Cabrera. A pitch out. The throw... Not in time as he's able to thwart the pitch out. I'm not sure what else the defense could have done there. They pitched out and the throw was pretty good, but they still couldn't cut him down. You kind of just have to hope he gets a bad jump. Third inning, no score to this point. Hey. Called strike two. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it 2-2. Two and two. Now a foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike three, and that ends the inning. Mets strand one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Here's D. Gordon now. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. Here's the 2-2. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full 3-2 and two here. Working for the punch out and the offering. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First and second here with nobody out. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. He's set. Here's the three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Yeah. 
He'll try it again, three and two. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Once again, a 3-2. Hit out towards second. And this is knocked down over there. And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. Set and the 1-1 pitch. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. I'll tell you, there was intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him, but when you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. Hitters count now. Here's the 2-1. and Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes into score. A really good team at bat right there, right? Just put the ball in play. He does this, that gets the ground ball and brings home the first run of the game from third. One out here in the Yankees' third inning and standing in the ever-dangerous Mike Trout. Runners are at second and third with one down. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but I do know when a guy at the plate is a stud like that and first base is open, there's absolutely zero reason to put the ball in the strike zone. I think he was trying to work around him, and it just got away. Stepping in now, Bryce Harper. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here wow talk about frustrating I'm not for what you want to do with the bases loaded a simple pop-up and nothing productive comes out of that into the box Kyle Seeger hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Yelich is under it. And that retires the side. Yankees forced to settle for one. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the Yankees one and the Mets nothing. with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian, and leading off the inning, the big right-handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And fellas, if we do games together for the next decade, we might never see two starters in the same game throwing that hard. I mean, this has really been something. Here's Juana Cespedes. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Sign from Posada. Now the one and one. Here's Cespedes with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A 
solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes, giving him an even 150 as the Mets have come back to tie things at one. Well, he really hit that ball well. Just got great extension and didn't miss the pitch. In now, Wilson Ramos. And he puts it on the ground to second. Gordon is there. The second for one. On to Goldschmidt, a double play. Inning over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. A look at the line score here in the eighth inning from New York. This one, everything we could have asked for. Yankees and Mets all even as we reach the late stages. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Sign from Posada. Now the one and one. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. It swung on and hit in the air. Toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. The throw to third. And he is in there at third is the possible go-ahead score. Another hit, another multi-hit game. He has been on some kind of hot streak. They better start paying attention to him. Standing in now. Miguel Cabrera and he puts it on the ground to second and he will deliver one of the biggest at bats of the night it's a base hit and they'll get the man at third here at least but in the interim a run has come in to score and this is a nice decision here in the outfield the run's going to score easily but he sees he might have a shot at that guy taking third so he gets off a really good throw to gun him down Into the box now, Giancarlo Stanton in for strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Chopped weakly to the left. Toss over to Gordon at second, and that ends the inning. Two hits and they leave one. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets two and the Yankees one. That they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Alex Colome comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 38, Alex Colome. Martin Prado will pinch Number hit here, 14. and he's the potential tying Martin run. Prado. Number 
Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. A hit in two tries so far. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Again, a 1-2. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at 1-2. and two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Stanton going back on it. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting, second baseman, Lee Gordon. Here's D. Gordon now. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Bases are empty here with two men out. A little pop-up off toward the third base side. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Boy, that's a good pitch. Change up away off the plate with two strikes. Love it. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Now another one-two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And he just keeps on going and going. That's save number 35 for the season, and he's proven to be as reliable as anyone in the game. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. Carlos Torres earns his third win of the year in relief. Tommy Lane takes the loss, only his first of the year. Alex Colome earns the save out of the bullpen, his 35th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our final entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching the MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com.